Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to Motion Nations. And in today's video, we are going to create this minimal sunrise scene in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already imported this color palette, so I'll put some hex code in the description from where you can just simply copy these and I'll put a link in the description from where you can download this trees PNG file. So now let's begin. So first I'm going to create a new composition. Let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can go with whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to quickly import my palette so that I can easily add colors. It's completely up to you if you want to pick different colors then you can go ahead with that. Now let's create a new solid so go to layer new solid and I'm going to change its color to this color. Let's call this BG for background and just click on OK. So this is going to be our background and I'm going to quickly lock this. Now I'm going to select the ellipse tool and we are going to create bunch of different circles over here. So let's just click somewhere and just hold on shift key and you can press control key so that it will make a perfect circle something like this. So let's create a circle just like this. After that we can select this and let's go to fill and let's change its color to something like this. Now let's make sure that this circle is in the center of this composition. For that we can use the align panel and we can just make it into the center. And if you are not able to see the align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Also make sure the anchor point is in the center and if it is not then you can select the layer then hold down the control key or command key if you are on Mac then just simply double click on this and it will make this anchor point in the center. Now we can select this and press control D to duplicate it. After that we can select the bottom layer and let's press S and we are going to increase its size. So let's set this scale to something like 162. After that we can select this and let's change the fill color to this color then click ok then again we can select the bottom layer press ctrl t after that select the bottom layer and let's increase its size to something like 225 now it's completely up to you you can pick whatever size you want after that let's change its color to something like this and let's select this layer and duplicate it one last time and then select the bottom layer and let's set this to 285 or 290 whatever you want after that again we can select the fill and let's change the color to this color so over here you can see we have created this and now let's create a new solid and again just make sure that it's of this color after that you can select the solid then press s then make sure to uncheck these links and let's set the y scale to 50 after that we can select this and let's just place it to the bottom of this something like this so here you can see we have the semicircles and now we are pretty much done with the colors so we can simply select the palette layer and delete it. Now let's select all of these layers and I'm going to quickly animate them. So let's press S for scale and let's move this to somewhere around 2 seconds and let's add a scale keyframe. And in the beginning I'm going to change the scale to 0. After that we can select the keyframes then you can press F9 or you can just right click keyframe assistant and easy ease. Then you can click here to grow, go into the graph editor and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph not the value graph. After that we can select the endpoints and let's click over here and we can just simply drag it to make the graph look something like this. And if I go back now if I play you can see that we have this animation. We are going to tweak this animation more after this but first let's select these and I'm going to quickly move them little bit up just like this and then we can select all of these layers and then we can place them somewhere around here yeah I think this is looking fine now if you are not happy with the scale then you can increase them so if I can set this to something like 300 and let's increase this to something like 235 and let's set this to 175 something like this so this is completely up to you now along with the scale we also want a little bit of position animation so we can select all of these press p for position and let's add a keyframe because this is going to be our final position and in the beginning i'm going to select all the layers 
then we can just simply hold down the shift key and just move use the arrow keys to move them down so that you can see that now they are moving up just like this and let's move it a little bit more down after that select the keyframes again press f9 let's go to the graph and we can change it to look something like this so now if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice sunrise animation now we can select the layers and we can quickly offset them so let's zoom in and i can so let's zoom in and we can select all of these three layers which are below this and let's move them four frames ahead that select this and let's move these to four frames ahead just like this so now if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice sunrise animation which is exactly what we want now we can add some trees to this so for that i'm going to use this trees image let me just quickly drag it so you can see that its color is different so for that i'm going to apply fill to this so just search for fill and just drag it onto this image again i'll put a link from where you can download this image let's select this color after that we can select this and let me just quickly scale this down we don't want the trees to be this big and let's place the somewhere around here after that we can select this press ctrl d and let's place some of them around here we can just have a little bit of variation in the scale and position something like this now let's select this press ctrl d once again and let's place these over here and i'm going to make them a little bit bigger something like this now we are going to do the same thing but with the position for these let's add position keyframe for all of these and in the beginning i'm going to just move all of these layers a little bit below just like this and if i play back here you can see that we have this animation now just move the keyframes ahead and let's easy ease and do the same thing with the graph so now if i play back here you can see that we have this animation so we can select these and let's add a little bit of delay so let's place them over here and let's just add a little bit of delay yeah i think this is looking fine so we are pretty much done with this now the last step is to add a little bird so we are going to make the bird using the pen tool and then animate it so let me just quickly zoom in now let's start creating a bird so for that i'm going to just click somewhere around here then let's create a little bit of angle something like this and then click over here and after that i'm going to just simply click down below and then i'm going to repeat this thing but in the opposite direction so let's add something like this and after that i'm going to join these and then play around with these handles so that it looks like one wing something like this and if you're not happy with the shape then you can just obviously play around with it so i think this is looking much better now again let's select the layer and we can just change its color so let me just quickly zoom out and let's pick this color just click on ok now we are going to quickly animate this so for that i'm going to just simply select the shape and let's move to somewhere around here let's select the layer and search for path and let's add a keyframe after that we can zoom in and you can hold down the shift key and press page down so that it will move 10 frames ahead and after that we are going to change the shape of this wing so we can just simply select this and we are basically going to invert this so for that let's just simply grab this and let's place it over here and this will go over here and this will go down and of course the angle will change as well so let's place it somewhere around here and let's change the angle something like this so here you can see that we have this animation now it's completely up to you just play around with the animation until it looks good so yeah, i think this is looking fine so we are pretty much done with the animation now let's just zoom out and we are going to quickly select the first keyframe and again hold down the shift key and press page down so that it will, it will move 10 frames ahead then press ctrl v just copy this keyframe and press ctrl v so that it will 
we have this animation and now what we can do is just simply select these keyframes press ctrl c then press page shift and page down and just simply keep on pasting them so shift page down twice then ctrl v shift page down twice then ctrl v just keep on doing it and after that you can copy all of these and let's press shift page down and press ctrl v so that we have bunch of these keyframes just like this now we are pretty much done with the animation so we can just simply select this and we can duplicate it by pressing ctrl d and after that we can select this layer right click transform and let's flip horizontally because we need two wings and let's just quickly move it so that it's aligned over here here you can see we have our bird and you can see that it's flapping a little bit faster so we can select this press u on both the layers and let's select the keyframes then we can press f9 to easy ease them after that hold down the alt key or option key if you are on mac then click the last keyframe and just drag it so that it will increase the distance between these keyframes and now you can see that we have much smoother wing flap which is exactly what we want so we can just simply select this and let's trim the layer from the beginning and let's place it somewhere around here after that i'm going to select the top layer and let's parent it to the bottom layer now we are going to animate its position so let's go somewhere around here i'm going to place my bird over here and let's add a position keyframe and in the beginning let's select this and let's move it so that it looks like it's coming behind the trees here you can see now we can just simply zoom out and let's play it so here you can see we have this animation or we can just simply select this and let's move it a little bit over here and let's add a transparency over here let's set this to zero and do the same thing for this as well let's add a keyframe let's set this to zero as well now we can select the layer and trim it so now if i play back here you can see that we have this animation let me just quickly move it somewhere around here so yeah i think this is looking much better so this is how you can add some little really nice birds to your animation now if you like these then you can just simply select this and we can pre-compose and let's call this bird and after that we can press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's move it somewhere around here and we can just simply scale this and we can offset it something like this here you can see now we have two birds in the scene and in the same way you can add multiple birds over here as well so this is how you can create these kind of minimal scenes and the project file for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you want to support me then you can join my patreon page and you will get the tutorial project files and some exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so i hope you learned something from this video with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one